there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of the Cider Drinker and we have another cider courtesy of Orchard Box um, I've just uh, finished doing a review of Black Stock Quincy Hoppy Cidery whatever you want to call it edition drink which was definitely a taste experience that's for sure but this particular time, I am back with the Scully Cider Company, the um, first Afri uh, South African cider that I've actually tried before, apart from Savannah, but we don't really talk about that one because that's a bit rubbish. Um, so their newest arrival to the line is this one right here. It's their Granny Smith Cider, and uh, I, I like the design of uh, these bottles, I really, really do. I don't know what it is about it, because it is just a bunch of X's, but it really is effective. Um, so, obviously, the Granny Smith apple is generally quite a sweet-tasting apple, um, and it's not normally an apple that you find in ciders. It's not normally uh, one that you actually find in them. So it would be really interesting to see um, how this one's going to taste. And this is the good thing about the Scully um, company. They do seem to try and use different apples from the norm to try and create some really interesting tasting ciders so i'm really hoping that this one is going to be one of those uh, as you can see this one is in 330 ml bottles as is all the other scully ciders i've tried and this comes in at four and a half percent abv um so a pretty standard drink here um cranny smith cider with a glint in the eye there we go manufactured by crafty brands da -da -da, da -da -da -da. there's actually not anything else at all on here at all. Uh, drinking during pregnancy can be harmful to your unborn baby. Uh, and that's it. That is basically it. So, can't give you any more details on this, so there's one last thing to do, and that's to uh, actually get the top off and actually see what lies beneath. Ooh, a little bit actually dribbled out there. Must have been on the cap. There we go. Right, Granny Smith, what do you smell like? That sounds really wrong. Ignore that. Yeah, there you go. As I expected, it does smell very sweet. Almost, um, almost, uh, yeah, literal, literally sweet-like in, um, in notes. Hmm, like, I've, I've literally, it smells like I've just walked into a sweet shop. Wow, okay. Let's get it poured out and see what it, uh, smells like in the glass. There you go, obviously, uh, using my Himachal glass once again. Obviously, I've clean, uh, cleaned it out since uh, the black stock, otherwise that might uh, tamper with the tastes, which we do not want. So, in for the colour test, and what well, you can see, very, very lightly sparkling. That is going to settle down very, very quickly. Really, really light golden colour right there. You can see it just at the, um, the top of the glass there. Very, very light in colour. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really, really nice. Very, I don't know, it looks really juicy, looks really fresh, and looks... You know, quite nice. So, literally like liquid sunshine. Look at that. Let's just take a moment to appreciate just the uh, the goldenness of that. Right, that's enough of that. In for the whiff test again. Oh yeah, definite, massive, uh, massive sweet hits. There's no dryness to this at all. Um, it kind of does smell like an apple sweet. Doesn't really smell natural, but um, I know that Scully does use like um, all just like 100% percent apples and stuff. So um, there's there's no uh, danger of that. But yeah, if you didn't know, it it does smell slightly artificial. But I think that is generally because the Granny Smith apple is such a sweet tasting apple. So is the taste going to match the smell? Let's find out. Cheers, guys. Here's to Scully's Granny Smith cider, courtesy of Orchard Box. Cheers. Well, it definitely does taste sweet, but not sickly sweet, which is a really, really good sign. Let's go for a second opinion. Hmm. That is the sign of a good cider. Um, yes, it is sweet tasting, but you're not getting the cloying, clogging, sugary, syrupy, thick textures and tastes that you get with like all the mass marketed commercial ciders that you um, find on the shop on the shop shelves and everything um, which is the sign that you know it's not fake 
it's not artificial or anything like that. Um, I don't know whether they add sugars and stuff into it. They don't really um, specify. I'm sure they don't. Um, and it does, it does taste natural. Um, yeah, and actually, at the end, I'm getting a slight, almost like a sort of a treacly sort of aftertaste, just as it's uh, gone down my throat. And on. There's even um, a slight hint of uh, the apple skin as well, just like coating the top of my mouth. Like, it, it feels like I have just taken a bite out of a really fresh, juicy Granny Smith apple, and the juices are just covering, um, covering my mouth with its sweet, fruity goodness. Um, yeah, this is a really good cider. Um, I'd actually say, out of the three Scully ciders I've tried, this is probably my favourite. So, there we go. I might have saved the best to last, but I'm sure they have got um, more ciders in the pipeline. Uh, so yeah, really, really solid effort from the Scully company here. They obviously know how to make some decent ciders. And from South Africa as well, so, you know, big props to that too. Let's go in for a final taste for a final verdict anyway. Hmm. Really, really nice. Fresh, juicy, really easy to drink, really refreshing. Um, just all the hallmarks of a really good sessionable cider as well because it is four and a half percent ABV and because it comes in small bottles too you can you can easily get three or four of these bottles and just have a damn good time with it and really lovely tastes as well so yeah really do recommend this one for a final verdict Scully's Granny Smith cider is going to get an eight out of ten highly recommended and yeah I know that uh, Scully is becoming more um widespread in its uh, in its sales and stuff I know you can get it like in a, a lot of uh, different countries now. So I'm hoping that it will become more available around uh, the UK and Europe area because more people need to try this, um, this company out because they really do a damn good job and they really represent South Africa really well in its uh, cider community because obviously it's not the country that you think of where it's like, oh, they make some really good ciders. But yeah, I think Scully is putting South Africa on the map for uh, cider making and I think more South African you know, potential cider companies need to take note of this because they are doing a damn good job. So there we go, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it and as usual I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Until then, nice sessionable cider courtesy of Scully, Granny Smith Cider. This is going to go down a treat. Take care guys, until next time.